is Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episodes one and two of the final season of Magic of Recorded. Okay, so I had, when this came out yesterday, or really, yeah, it's still yesterday for me because it's still Monday, um, or by the time when you guys see this tomorrow or Sunday, and then also today while I was at work, I, I heard and read that people were really upset about this um, and have mixed feelings on this and strictly because of the fact is all four parts were released all in one day instead of a weekly S thing because I felt like Shaft was kind of like, let's hurry up and knit this show in the bud so we can move on to that movie, whatever that movie, the la I think the last part of the... Um, Madoka, uh, Madoka, Mag Madoka Magica series um, is coming out. I think that's like next year or the year after. I'm not really sure. I remember they did something for it. But uh, from what I had read, some people said that with these four episodes, it kind of felt rushed. So I, I won't know until I watch these. It's going to take me like two hours to get everything done. So yeah, I'm excited to see how this ends. If you know Iroha and everyone else gets to have that happy ending. But then at the same time, like, is this going to connect to the Madoka Magica series and to the final movie of the part of, of like, the three-part movie that came out and such? And how is it going to relate to it? But we ain't going to know until then. But other than that, let's go ahead and get started with episode one and three, two, one, go. Oh. I think probably what I'm gonna do is either have all four videos come out in one part for you guys even though that'll take a longer edit or I'll probably just do two parts like I'm currently doing now <gasps> oh, fuck. Yeah, that was your, your paradise, your home. Oh. And of course, she did it without hesitation, right? Yeah, you sure are. <laughs>
this ain't gonna be good, of course. It sure was, but keep her close. Oh! Well, you know, baby, she a magical girl now, so... Gotta go fight a witch. Ah, oh, damn it. They would tell her. God damn me. This fucking. Oh my god. Fucking cute, eh? Yeah! 
Yeah. Smart girl. Smart girl. Oh my god. Yes. Thank you. Somebody is smart besides <laughs> Oh Jesus. But of course, all three of them fell under Jubei's spell just as everyone else has. But it doesn't. Like, damn, y'all really doing y'all research shit. Cuba ain't ever gonna really tell y'all the truth. Bullshit. Bullshit. I like how they did that. It's pretty. You turn into a witch. No. Exactly.
to get rid of witches. So you're telling me this is what we saw in the first episode? Bitch, what the fuck? All the way... Oh, and there's baby Cube. It's just going to turn into that mod. Are you fucking kidding me? Yeah, but you screwed up, Ooey! And we all know what the damn thing grew up. Not anymore, it's not. Of 
course, she doesn't remember. But this ain't Cubay anymore! It's Ui! Oh shit! Yeah, that's right. She is the only one who would remember because with Iroha, Iroha barely has like little points of remembering. Okay, for a start of this final season, this was good. I really personally enjoyed this episode. I don't know if it's my favorite yet. I gotta wait to see the other three and to see how this ends. But to finally get answers on that because we we've seen Ui from time and time again. And the biggest thing was wondering what the fuck happened to her. So now that we finally got that answer, because ever since we started this show, and when I also started playing the game, I had always wondered what the hell happened to her. I never would have thought that Ui would have become Embryo Eve. Like, no fucking way. But <sighs> that's fucked up. That, that's that's so fucked up. And the fact that Nemu is the only one that remembers her and such. It is sad because she still has those memories. And so anytime when she thinks of her, she's still going to remember all these like dark moments and such. But I, I hope we get a happy ending. That's all I hope. We got three episodes left before I'm done with this show completely. So I pray to God. Let Iro have you with her little sister and her girlfriend, please. That's all I want. Let her be with her little sister and her girlfriend. Let her happy and then let it somewhat connect with, you know, uh, the other series. That's all. But, I mean, it, to finally get this and to see how, like, dark and to, uh, Twisted Toka was, like, I had already knew, and she's still one of my favorite girls, but, like, oh, when she, like, immediately forgot about Ui, like, you could just see that face and everything and it's like oh okay this is what I'm thinking this is what we should do and I was like basically y'all two just kill Ui for this to save the magical girls I was like are we okay with this y'all okay with this we okay with this we're like we're, we're sure we all right with this this is okay in my book this is not okay at all so I'm hoping that like I said Iroha and her squad plus Madoka because Madoka is still there 
with them, right? From what I remembered from season two. Um, I think they are, unless they all left. I, I don't remember, because it's been a while since I've seen season two. So, if they are still there, you know, I mean, come on. You, you need to have Goddess Madoka and Devil Homare come up, be all powerful guides and OP as fuck, and just, you know, not really kill Ui, but try to bring Ui back to normal. That's all I really hope for these final three episodes. But go ahead and pause the video, and I will see you guys in one second for episode two. Alrighty, episode two and three, two, one. And then hold up, like, what about, I think it was her name, Kuro? Are, are we going to see her in the last few episodes? <laughs> it sure fucking did. Wasn't this the same opener that they used in the previous season? Yeah, it is. Okay. Well, okay. Yeah, you remember now, huh? Exactly. She might end up calling her witch out. Lord Jesus, this child...
get everything's okay now. At least they're together. We just need Ui. But damn, that's a little diss. Of course, we drive anybody crazy. And unfortunately, you failed. It's okay now. Okay, so now the biggest thing is how the fuck do we help Ui? You couldn't bear it, though. And after that, you were a complete different person. Possibly so. Oh, damn. Cause see now it feels like in the beginning Toka was the most like corrupted one, but now it's more like Nemo is.
Hell, I'm terrified about what the fuck y'all two might do right now. This isn't a good idea, you guys. But is that gonna bring Ui back, though? So you just want her to be alone now. But she'll be alone. This is wrong. Oh, fuck. Damn. Oh, my God. So freaking quickly. Ah, oh, damn it. Not the ones that are already... Oh.
God damn, all of them. Okay. That's not going to keep them hold for long. You can't handle them by yourself. She's, she cannot hold that. Oh, oh God. She's already at her limit. She's not going to let. Oh, my God. Exactly. But what about you two, though?
God, this is depressing. This fucking hurts. So now they're dead. That's so fucked up. Alright, so, episode two, good, but depressing. Very, very, very depressing. That little last bit, oh my god. Rip Momo and Mofiru. I, I did not think that they were going to die, and that they were going to sacrifice themselves. I mean, it made sense for them to, because, like, <sighs> this is fucked up. It, it's one of the things I like about this show, but then at the same time, when it gets depressing, it gets depressing, and it fucking hurts. Like, I'm thinking, okay, you know, by the end of this, we're gonna see a happily ever after for these girls. This is only fucking episode two. I got two more episodes before we're done, and this was fucking depressing as hell. I mean, I hate the fact that, you know, both Embryo Eve, Nemu, and Toko, Toka, Toka, best girl Toka, um are now going after the freaking thing that I, the word that I can never pronounce right, so I'm not even going to try the W word, that big witch, and fuse with it. What the fuck is fusing it going to do? Like, seriously. Yeah. <laughs> and then they're like, here, you know what? Let's protect big sis Aroha. You'll be okay, but she'll probably be alone, but she'll be saved, right? And it's like, how is that okay? How is that fine? To literally be like, hey, what we're going to do is save you by sacrificing all of us. 
that's a little fucked up to me because, like I said, she's gonna be alone. She's not gonna have anyone. Her girlfriend ain't gonna be here because her girlfriend gonna be dead. Like, that's a little fucked up, don't you think? That is really fucked up. Like, come on, damn it. Like, mm-mm. Mm-mm. I, I don't know what else to say about this, but, I mean, like I said, we got two episodes left. Two. And these last two could end anywhere. And, any freaking way. And then, and then Kuro. Yeah, Kuro. Or a uh, freaking Kana, um, Kana Hanazono. I think that's her, uh, her name. What, what her character doing? The, the, like, yeah, what's she doing? I mean, she walking and, and she's got all this black goo surrounding her. And baby Kube, a.k.a. Ui, spirit is following her. So where are they going? Once again, unanswered questions. You're giving me, like, every episode, you're giving me more questions than answers. You're still giving me answers that, questions that needed to be answered in these episodes, but then by the end of it, of course, I'm now asking more beyond more beyond more questions and stuff. And I think this is kind of why I'm going to go ahead and say this now, because I am going to say this when we get to the final episode. This should have been, instead of four episodes, they should have really spaced this out to make it weekly and to give us more than four. Because it, like, even though this is only episode two, it kind of does feel like we are rushing into it a little bit. And as someone who didn't get to this part in the game and hasn't seen it, but you're comparing it from what um I, I've read and such and seen a little bit of, like, this is that in the third It's still good, but like I said, I still got a lot of unanswered questions. So I think, as I said in the previous part, I'm probably going to, I think I am just going to probably have it in two parts. Or, um, I think, you know what, I, I, fuck it. We're, we're just going to continue going. So go ahead and pause the video and I will see you guys in one second for episode three. Okay, part three in three, two, one, go.
Yeah! This is a bad idea! Yes, listen to her girlfriend. Her girlfriend is like, nope, don't do this. Because if they do that, it'll destroy everything. But we'll turn into a witch and everything will be fine. Or you'll die. And here she comes. God freaking damn. Ugh. No, gotta save her girlfriend. Yeah, your soul.
that's the only way. You have to kill her. Them too. Damn. I don't think so. We already know she's not gonna. Mm -mm. Yeah, your other, other girlfriend. Go on, follow her. It's just two guys and all over again. Oh shit! Oh god, this girl. We become a witch in this show and become a freaking demon. Just two guys and zero. for one thing like y'all boyfriend girlfriend or just friends were you dating someone who was your friend what well, damn I'm guessing she was the light to her darkness.
You don't, do you? Well, I don't think you'll become a real magical girl because, you know, you don't really have a face. And so, of course, something's going to happen to her. Exactly. You never ask each other's name. Probably not. Because of course you lied. But one lie doesn't make you bad. You can change. Jesus Christ, that thing has caused so much damage to the city. <laughs> to the point that it's not even funny. Oh, there's that one devil girl that I had. That's not true. Yes, you can.
Why? Because you're damaged goods. Because she's your friend. She cares about you. Plus, she also loves you. But, hey, you her second girlfriend. She's too far gone. Damn! I'm gonna have to kill her. Well, <sighs> this is a depressing part too. Oh my God, Jesus Christ. I'm thinking Carl would have been fine, but you know, in, in this series, no one can truly be fine. Like, even if someone says, I'm okay, deep inside, they're not okay. I did not think she was going to turn into a witch, but she, and, and sometimes, like, when I think about Kuroi, she kind of does remind me a lot of Hamade and how she was doing it for someone who she cared about. The soul gems are made from us. If we are not always on that side of the goodness, on the side of goodness, um, they will shatter. Goodness is what kills us. Damn. So destroy it before it kills you. We will destroy all that is good. And then we will disappear.
what the fuck? What the fuck? Um, but yeah, those two really remind me of each other and just the, the lengths that they will do to protect someone. And then Homare, Homare-chan, and then freaking Aroha are very also similar to each other. Same thing with Aroha and Madoka, where they will do everything in their power to save everyone because we got one episode left and something just tells me Iroha is going to make the ultimate quote unquote sacrifice. Like hell she might turn into a goddess in this next episode. I mean, this last episode could end any freaking way. I don't know how. It, she just I mean, no offense, she just killed Kuroe. She literally just killed her. But it, and it's she only did it because there was no other choice. It's either kill or be killed. And and this is a situation where magical girls are dying left, right, and center. And the world is coming to an end only for them to save it because that is what Nemu, Ui, and Toka's plan was from the beginning is to save magical girls from becoming witches by sacrificing themselves so that everyone could not be turned into a witch again. But all this sacrificing is... is highly fucked up and, and you feel bad for these girls because all I bet you at the time when you know Nani Roha uh Toka and Nemo were speaking the word of saving them you know I don't think any of these girls who joined that cult um was thinking that this was gonna happen and then finally when everybody snaps back into it and is quote-unquote normal again but having both Toka finally remember her memories and such because, you know, Nemu gave her her memories back and such, but still says, you know, you thought I wasn't going to agree with this plan, but, you know, let's continue this. Let's finish this. Let's start, I mean, let's end what we, all three of us, decided long ago when, you know, the three of us were in the hospital and we were sick as fuck and finding out that Iroha was doing this to save Ui and such. Let's save Iroha. But it just would be sacrifices. God. Lord, uh, and then having that this ending like that is like having the the caption and reading that out loud like that shit is sad. But I mean that's one of the other things why I like this damn show too much. It when it when it gets to you, it gets to you, and you're like you sit here and you think you're like God damn this show like Jesus Christ like I I cannot imagine like how anybody else would feel watching this show and especially if they're in like that certain state of mind and their health and everything like I, I feel like this would be very triggering to some people so like between this the original um Ma uh, madoka magica or like anything else where like some people say hey you shouldn't watch this like don't do this if you have this 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 and problems and stuff because it happens but then at the same time it's kind of interesting to see the how like anime portrays like mental health in a way because it is very interesting but I, I hope i hope and hope and pray we get this good ending because we only got one episode left and i hope it ends good i hope there is no cliffhanger or anything but we'll see in a second so go ahead and pause the video and i will see you guys in one second for the finale episode Okay, final episode in three, two, one, go. You had no choice. Because remember, they said goodness is despair and you have to kill it. Oh, damn! They are, but in the end, they can't save themselves.
Don't keep it all to yourself. Like, okay, let's say this, this show ends with the whole world resetting and all the magical girls are fine and Kuroe and Ui and everyone's okay and she's able to save them. They could all have a better life. Who freaking knows? It's a big old what if. Always. I like how they're showing so many characters that were in this game that didn't get a speaking role. A freaking speaking role. Oh my god. This isn't right. Yeah, cause even oh, we don't want this. But still, this isn't right! So you basically want her to be selfish.
Alina. Of course. But then everybody's going to turn into witches once again. Guys, you know, Alina wanna, you know, Alina wants just wants to pay, bleh, I can't speak. She just wants to spare. Come on now. It kind of looks like her, um, her Christmas card, kind of, in a weird way. Like, come on, man. Once again, like, no more sacrifices. We want a good ending. We're only 12 minutes in. We have 13 minutes left. If you did, then why is... Oh. Are we in purgatory? course you'd be here too
I'm about to say, like, yeah, like, the house is big. We don't have any more time left. But damn. Strings of fate, possibly. Mm -hmm.
God, that's beautiful. <laughs> so now, we got six minutes left. How is this going to end? That's it. Wait, 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 wait. Are you kidding me? We're really ending it like this? With like, uh, there, there's got to be something else after this. Okay, this was still good. No, like 100% good. Yeah, there, like to me, it still feels like a lot of things are missing because of the fact is they wanted to make this ending into a four-parter and such. But I still think there should have been more episodes than just four. Because season one had 12 to 13. Season two had 10, I believe or eight and then the four for this final final series and such do i think it concluded well a little bit of yeah and a little bit of no because it feels like there's a lot of unanswered questions and such but it was still good i really enjoyed this series a lot and to get to see my girls from the original <laughs> madoka magica up in here i thought like you know because when that show when i when i finally finished that show so many years ago when it was on Netflix and I was like, I'm going to binge it and I binged it and I'm at my aunt's house and I'm trying not to cry over some of this situation while they're sitting there watching the freaking, uh, the single women's club movie. And I'm over here like trying not to cry my ass off because it was sad. And then how that ended. And then the next day I watched, um, the movie that literally just starred no one but Homane and such. And then still being like, this is so fucking good. But at the same time, you're like, what the fuck is going to happen next? Then you get this show, which is technically like a spinoff, but still connects it with the original series. But still at the same time, because it's its own special story. And our girls, Madoka and her squad, they're here, but they're more of side characters. They're more of the minor cast. They get to have an appearance, but they're not as important as Iroha, Yachiro, um, Ui, Tamaki, the rest of these girls who have been here and we've gotten to know them throughout season one to now. It is sad that we're technically over with the show now. I mean, because this was so good. Yes, it had good things and bad things about it, but I, I still enjoyed it. It was really good, very interesting. I just hate the fact that it's over because I felt like there should have been more. I will say that. Let's be a little freaking honest. There should have been more with this. I, I think, honestly, I would have rather had a movie that could end this with also a movie because, I mean, we're we doing that with the other series. we finally making a part three or a part two or a final ending on that. But I'm glad that they finally answered a lot of questions that I had wondered from both season one and season two and then anything in the situation on Ui. Like, that was the biggest thing. That part right there with those two sacrificing itself fucking hurts. Everybody doing sacrifices really hurt in these last four episodes because at the, it's fucked up. Even Curl, I, I thought she was going to be okay. I really thought everybody was going to be okay. And we were going to get that happily ever after. And, you know, a magical girl standard-esque. And be fine. But sometimes you can't even get that. Oh, she cut her hair!
It's going back in time again. Who was that, though? Who was the girl in the pink hair? Okay. So yeah, I, I okay. I like the fact that, you know, we get to show a little bit of Goddess Madoka. <laughs> Home and I go back in time once again to save her girlfriend. <laughs> but then the question is, okay, who was the girl the other girl in the pink hair who had Alina's package? Who was that? I feel like I've seen her before. One. The girl who was with Goddess Madoka who flipped the page um, or really closed the book, who the heck was that? There, once again, there's so many unanswered questions with this show, and it's just like, oh, God, I love it, but then I dislike it at the same time, because I do like it when shows give me questions, and then I'll get them answered and such, but then you have, like, the other ones that you're sitting here wondering about, it's like, who the fuck is this? Who, what the hell is gonna happen next? Is this really, truly a quote-unquote happy ending for these girls, and how is this gonna connect with the last movie that's coming out in the next couple of years? I have no fucking clue. But, yeah, I will say it was a little rushed. I, I, in my opinion, I do believe, I, and I understand why now, after watching the four episodes back to back to back, I can see why majority of the people who watched this and some friends who I'm close to said, this is rushed and such. Because it truly was. It feels like the the ending of this wasn't as satisfying or up to a standard that everybody had it to be and such. But, I mean, I still enjoyed it. I, I think what I'm probably going to have to do is, like, kind of rewatch the whole series in its entirety. I do like the fact that, you know, with this series and how people feel, like, between this and then the other show that I'm also reacting to that I'm very close to being done with, Blue Reflection Ray, um, how these two are very similar, where we go into the world, once again, of mental health, and, you know, saying that it's not the greatest to keep things to yourself because if you continuously do that, you're like a ticking time bomb where you're going to go off or you're going to blow up, basically. And the fact is, like, Iroha was feeling, like, at the worst that she could be that she blamed herself for everything and how her friends came and said, share your pain with us. And it's basically like a metaphor of you always need someone to talk to, however you're feeling and stuff. Let someone know how you're feeling at that time and the place and to get some help, whether it is professional or whatever, and having someone to be by your side and to like sit and listen, because sometimes that's something that a lot of people, you know, really want in the end, not for someone to be opposing to someone and like talk them down it's for them to have someone to listen and to comment on some things and to be like, it's okay, you take it one step at a time. So I think it, they did a really good job on that. But like I said, I might have to rewatch this whole thing from the beginning all over again just to kind of get those unanswered questions because there, there's still so much that I feel like they needed to tell, but I think they just really wanted to get this show done quick, fast, and hurry. Because I think originally because of the pandemic, this was supposed to air, like, finish last, sometime last year. Um, 
because I think the second season was supposed to air like early spring summer and then the final four episodes was supposed to air in the fall but because of the pandemic and everything um of course everything got delayed and everything got pushed back or pushed forward whatever and still I feel like they there there should be more I really truly think there should be more but other than that guys that is my reaction view towards the final season of Magic of Recorde. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next time for whatever the heck I am watching next. But until then, I hope you guys all have a good day. Bye.